Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we bring you a deeply impactful report from Israeli Channel 12, shedding light on the dramatic shifts and economic challenges facing Israel amidst ongoing conflict. In the recent months of the war, nearly half a million Israelis have fled the country. This mass exodus marks a significant turning point, indicating the severe strain on the nation's fabric. Channel 12's report emphasizes a grim reality there will be no complete victory. Hamas remains resilient, and Hezbollah continues to be a formidable presence. Israel continues to threaten a military operation against Hezbollah in Lebanon, while the United States believes the key solution is to end the war in Gaza. According to Israeli television, Tel Aviv sees no option but to conduct military action in the north. Meanwhile, Israel is urging the White House to supply it with weapons in preparation for the anticipated war. The report paints a harrowing picture. Families are disintegrating, businesses are collapsing, and the very backbone of the nation's defense, the reservists and regular soldiers are exhausted beyond measure. White House officials believe that once Israel completes its operations in Gaza, Nasrallah will be given an opportunity to de-escalate. On the other hand, Israel has made it clear to the United States that if this doesn't happen soon, they will have no choice but to forcibly relocate residents to the north. According to the report, Israel believes it needs international cover in case of war because Tel Aviv will use weapons it hasn't used before. Hezbollah's actions have only intensified the situation. They attempted to strike the Iron Dome and another critical security facility in the Carmel area. Their intimate knowledge of sensitive targets in the north keeps the threat ever-present. The assessment in Israel is that it should avoid getting dragged into a prolonged war against Hezbollah. Amidst this turmoil, Canada extends a hand, proposing immigration as a solution to the escalating conflict in the north. But what does this mean for Israel's economy? The economic implications are profound. The labor market is seeing a brain drain. Skilled professionals are leaving creating labor shortages in crucial sectors like technology, healthcare, and education. Businesses are not just struggling, they are collapsing. This leads to a vicious cycle of reduced economic output, higher unemployment, and diminished consumer spending. Investment is fleeing too. Domestic and foreign investors alike are deterred by the instability, leading to reduced investment in infrastructure and business development. The government's fiscal challenges are mounting, Increased defense spending and economic relief efforts are straining public finances, leading to higher debt and budget deficits. Social cohesion is fraying. Families and communities are falling apart, leading to increased social tensions and potential unrest. This further destabilizes the environment for economic activities. Consumer confidence is plummeting, with widespread exhaustion and demoralization among both reservists and regular citizens. The ongoing conflict disrupts trade routes, affecting exports and imports. This leads to shortages and increased costs for businesses and consumers. On the international stage, calls for boycott and stricter measures against Israel reflect growing global concern, potentially influencing diplomatic relations and trade agreements.